Warning, watching tonight's midnight snack could make you gay. Elizabeth Taylor, Richard Burton, Noel Coward in a Tennessee Williams screenplay directed by Joseph Losey. See what I mean? Boom. I think Boom is great. Though when it was released in 1968, neither the critics nor the movie going public agreed with me. And I have to say, I do see their point. Let's look at it. It's a Tennessee Williams screenplay based on his not terribly successful play, The Milk Train Doesn't Stop Here Anymore, transplanted to an island in Italy with Elizabeth Taylor, far too young to play the dying Flora Goforth, Richard Burton, far too old as the young poet Chris Flanders, who, incidentally, is known as the Angel of Death for his habit of turning up at the homes of rich old broads just before they croak, and no coward, hamming it up as her queenie best chum. It's also got an out-of-control budget, a director with a reputed drinking problem, not forgetting the well-known shenanigans of his two leads, and that maketh not necessarily a winning combo, let alone a box office smash. But that was then, and this is now. And Boom Now is a fascinating glimpse into a time when films just cared about fabulousness and frocks, and when actors had sudden, sonorous soliloquies and Elizabeth Taylor wore hats that made her look like the May Queen for no apparent reason. It is so wrong, it's right. Enjoy, and afterwards join Honey and Leon, themselves a sort of contemporary canine Taylor and Burton, to find out what they think of Boom. Not surprisingly, Honey is giving this film four paws up, because Elizabeth Taylor, Tennessee Williams and Noel Coward are all her role models although she was a little saddened by the negative portrayal of the dogs. And Leon? <coughs> See you next week.